Good morning. How are you doing this morning? Well, sir, can you believe it? It's September already. Oh, man. Hey, man, man, man. Hey, 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 Friday is the day. Hey, you know. Hey, hey, hey. I ain't saying nothing else. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that. I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to this wonderful Wednesday, a great day to be alive in the Lord, connected to God and his word. Well, he's wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace is what we are told that we would call him and that the government would be upon his shoulders and of his increase in peace, there would be no end and there it's talking about our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the center of our message every single day because it is in him that the love of God for us is revealed and realized, embraced and accepted as we are made new and inherit with him all of God and become Jan heirs together with him of our Father God. And that's God's design for us. That's his intent, his purpose in sending his son into the world, that we should all have everlasting life, unending life, life connected to him, united with him, productive and fruitful. Yes, friend, we've talked all the month of August about seeds. God wants you fruitful. It's about a fruitful life. A fruitful life is one that is productive and thriving. Uh, it's not just uh, sitting and buried, waiting, pining away, but it's thriving and it's putting forth uh, things that are continually of the nature of what God has made and created you for. Do you not know that God gives and creates all things and in making us, as it says in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5, God speaking to the prophet Jeremiah, that before you were formed in your, uh, in your mother's womb, I knew you, and I had a design for you. I made you to be a prophet to the nations, he said of him. And I believe that he said that to Jeremiah, but the things that are written in scripture are for our examples, that we might know that we are not random and that we're not just tracking through this old veil of tears, trying to make our way through a life that happens and then you die, but that we are to be flourishing and fruitful by God's own design. And to understand that that's not just a matter of our human effort and ability, but there's a scripture that I share often, uh, actually two scriptures out of Philippians chapter two, we were told in Philippians chapter 2 about the 5th or 6th verse to let the mind that was in Christ also be in us who being in the form of God thought it not robbery to be equal with God but took of himself no reputation and came as a form of a servant. What does that mean to us? It means simply that we should embrace our God likeness and that we're created in his image and likeness in the uniqueness of our own design. And that God designed us as he did to express himself to, through each of us in a very unique way. That's why we all have a set of markings at the, on our tips of our fingers that are called fingerprints. And, uh, you know, when your fingerprints are recorded, it goes into a great database and you can be identified whenever you have touched anything. It will inform and advise that you have been present and your hands have been on it and that you have been involved in some way. 
Well, that's why God gave you fingerprints, friend, for you to get your hands involved, to put your hands in the mix as he has designed you and to be a living expression of him in your uniqueness. Friend, do you know you created to be fruitful? Do you know that God has fearfully and wonderfully made you? If you're embracing that and growing in that, more and more you should have uh, a difference-making mentality. What can I bring and what do I bring to the table? How has God wired me? How has he made me? You know, oftentimes people say, I don't know what my purpose is, but look at what your passion is, not what your failings are, but what, what is the strength of God in you? What's the energy? What's your passion? You see, God can use your passion. Christian life is not about a dispassionate life, but it is a life filled with the passion and love of God working in and through us to accomplish his purposes and plans. And I say to you, we have all been given that unique design. Let us flourish and let us live. Let's bring what we have to the table to be the difference that makes the difference. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. You'll find these and other encouraging words. The care of God's love for you and his greatness, that your faith might be rested in him, your identity in him. Together, we are the difference that makes the difference that God designs and intends that we desire and the world needs as we awaken his purpose of knowing him and the love he has for us, mobilized his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this wonderful Wednesday morning. Well, Pastor, a great job as usual. And man, we just look forward to hearing you again in the morning with another great Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, cannot, I cannot stress that enough. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm stressed in, as a matter of fact. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and you just have a great day, God bless you. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, now. Hey. All right. Thrive. Be fruitful. Increase. Bring what you have. Let God be glorified in you. Have the mind of Christ. We love you. God loves you. We'll talk to you again tomorrow.